Hi everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Essential Training Classes. In today's lesson we'll be taking a look at slots, how to dimension them and looking at polygons. To start we will go and create a new file. We will be working in the part environment After doing this, we can now go and we can select sketch. Let's use the top plane for this lesson. After we see that SOLIDWORKS has orientated us, in our sketch we can see that we've got slots. Let's go ahead and select slot. If I move my cursor close to the zero point, we see that it shows a line to the center. This shows that we are able to draw horizontally with the zero point. Let's go ahead and do that. First we click, drag, click again. Once this is done, just move your mouse up or down to start creating your slot. Let's now give our slot relations so that it is linked to the zero point. We are doing this by first selecting the zero point keeping control in on our keyboard and selecting the middle of the slot. Once this is done, we see that the properties tab has given us some relations. Let's go and click coincident. Now that we've done this, we are able to dimension our slot. I'm going to show you a few ways of dimensioning a slot. Firstly, we will go and we will hit smart dimension. After doing this, we are able to dimension this line. Let's create it to be 150 long. We see that our slot is still blue, indicating that it is underdefined. The reason for this is we still need to give it an arc dimension. We do this by selecting the arc. And now we are able to give it a dimension. Let's go ahead and give it 25. Note that the total length of this would be 200. To show you this, let's go ahead and enter two points on the ends of the slot. The reason for this is that it's got 25 radius on the one side as well as the other. Another way to dimension slots, which I find easier, is to first enter the two points on the slot. Now when I smart dimension I am able to dimension from the total outside outside of the slot. So I am now able to create the size of 200. After doing this I would normally go and dimension the thickness of my slot. The 50 by 200 gives us exactly the same dimensioning as we had before that said the 150 by 25. You are also able to combine these two dimensioning ways. Let's go ahead and delete all the dimensions. You are able to firstly dimension the length and still able to dimension a half circle. This would also fully define your sketch. Let's go ahead and delete the slot. Let's now have a look at the polygon functions. Next to the slot function we see that we've got a polygon. After selecting this, we are able now to select in the center or anywhere on our sketch field, pull out and stop. To dimension a polygon, we can now go and give it a size. Let's go ahead and give it a size of 100. We see that our sketch is still blue. The reason for this is this polygon is still able to rotate, even though it is not able to change size. I will go ahead and select one of the lines and create it to be horizontal in relation. Let's go and select horizontal on the side. We now see that our polygon is fully defined. Let's go ahead and create another polygon. We do not have to have our polygon 
flat at the bottom. Another way to do it is to firstly dimension our polygon. Let's go and give it a hundred again. Now we are even able to select one of the other corners and give it a vertical relation. This would turn the polygon on its side. But this is not the only options that you've got. We are able to create a polygon. Smart dimension it to be a hundred. And if you like to have your polygon to a 45 degree angle, we are now able to use our center line function that we would find in our line functions drop down and we are able to create a horizontal center line and we can go and create a vertical center line you are also now able to dimension between these lines to get an angle Let's go ahead and give it a 45 degree angle. These are many of the ways to give your polygon relation. Let's go ahead and investigate the other functions of a slot. Next to the slot we see that we've got a drop down menu. We see that we've got a straight slot, center point straight slot, a three point arc slot and a center point arc slot. Let's go and use a straight slot again and create our slot at an angle. After creating our slot, once again, I will go and give it a relation to the zero, zero. Once this is done, I will go and create a center line to be either horizontal or I can go and create a center line to be vertical. I'm now able to use these lines to put my slot in an angle. Let's use 30 degrees. We can now go ahead and enter our points on the side of the slot to be able to dimension our slot to be in total 200 long. We can now go ahead and give it a thickness dimension and let's go to say 50. This is the way we are able to put slots at an angle. Let's go ahead and delete. One of the other slots is a center point straight slot. The way to use a center point straight slot, you are able to use either of the two functions. Let's go ahead and use the outside function. Firstly, we will select the center point of the slot, draw it to the outside and drag up to create the slot. Once again, let's go ahead and dimension the slot. We will go and create our two endpoints. We will select Smart Dimension and Dimension these two to be 200 again. Let's go and give the thickness to be 50. That is the way to use the center point slot. Let's delete and use the three point arc slot. The three point arc slot might be a bit confusing but on the next lesson we will be discussing the three point arcs which will make this function easier. Firstly we'll select the start point, we'll select the end point and we will select the radius that we will be in. After doing that we'll pull to the side to create our slot. Let's now fully define the sketch. Firstly I would go and I will create a vertical center line. After doing this, I am now able to select the center point and the zero point and force them to be coincident. After doing this, 
I can now go and dimension the arc to be 100 radius. I can also dimension the slot width to be 50. Note that the outside, the start and the end sides of the slot is still undefined. This is due that they have no relation to the center point. Let's go ahead and add these. We'll select from the center and we'll select one of the sides. Let's create that to be 50. Note that only one has moved and only one has changed. The reason for this is that this arc is not in the center of the point. I did this to show you that after creating our slot we are able to elongate or to shorten the slot and have it at different sizes to the side. Let's go ahead and give that a size of 80. If this is not the desired arc that you require and you need a mirror image between the left and the right hand, you are able to do so by as simple as either dimensioning it to be 50 again or to be easy, select the center of our slot, select the line that we have drawn and create them to be coincident. This would fully define your arc. Let's go ahead and delete this. We see that the final slot function we've got is a center point arc slot. We are now able to select the center of the radius, draw a circle, draw the size of the slot, and now pull out to create a size. That is the different slot functions and polygon functions. Thank you for watching.